Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I do videos related to medicine and a lot of MCAT related stuff. And today I'm going to be doing a review of the Next Step full lengths and yeah, just everything in my opinions of them. And should you or should you not buy them and take them before uh, doing the AMC materials and, and taking the MCAT? Okay, so first off, why would you want to take one of these Next Step practice full lengths when there's the AMC materials available and that AMC material is going to be the most valuable and the most similar to the actual MCAT. So why you would do that is because you're actually pretty early on in your studying cycle. So if you're over, I guess, two months out from your study or your actual test date and you've content reviewed a little bit, but you want to get some timing down and just get a feel for the test and yeah, just simulating mock test date conditions, you know, waking up in time for that 8 a.m. Um, and then yeah, just you know getting your brain ready for that six seven hour period that you got to be sharp for um and and just kind of to see where you're at in terms of content and content review so that's that's who would take this exam so you're over two months out from the exam and you have a good amount of content uh studied for already so that's who i'd recommend it to so ideally like i said these exams are going to come way before your double amc material exams there's actually three of those and one sample exam and those typically i would save for your last month so these next step full lengths are going to be taken at least two months before or a month and a half before the actual uh test date now getting into the real meat and content of this video what did i think of the next step full lengths uh in total and what did I think a section by section breakdown and what was my preparation coming into the next step full length exams. So I did buy three of the exams and I only ended up taking two of them. Um, coming into the next step full lengths, I had taken one to two months to content review uh, and I content reviewed with all the Kaplan books other than the psych Soch book. And then uh, instead of doing the psych Soch book, I used a 300 page document. I'll link that below. I updated the link in the description. Um, so yeah, I had one to two months of, uh, content review in, and I had completed undergrad. So I've done all my, uh, pre-med courses and everything. So I had background in every class that's required for the MCAT as well. So after getting that solid, you know, uh, content foundation, I ended up getting a 502 on next step full length one and 504 on next step full length two. Um, and then in between that, I did more content review. So yeah, that was what I scored on these exams. Now I'm going to go over section by section what I thought the strengths and weaknesses were of each section. Starting off with our favorite or least favorite section, chemistry and physics. So I thought the chemistry and physics on the next step full lengths was quite a di good deal harder than uh, the actual AMC material. Um, and the reason, one of the reasons why I think it was personally harder is because they have a lot more calculations and, uh, a lot more problems that you have to use numbers and, and math and to, to solve, which is not really consistent with what that double AMC does. So, uh, if, if you're getting problems wrong because you didn't do calculations correctly, that's okay. Um, and don't take that to heart too seriously because the AMC is less consistent with that. Um, but if you are scoring good on this, that's a really good sign that you're also going to do well uh, on the AMC material. So, uh, you know, good job if you're scoring well on this, but I definitely didn't. Um, I, I don't think I ever broke 125 in this. So, yeah, chemistry and physics, uh, very hard, harder than the actual thing, um, more calculations. But at the same time, it's very useful and uh, you can learn a lot from it. Uh, for the cars section, this one with these exams are a total wash for me. I don't think they're predictive at all. I don't think they're any way similar to the double AMC material. And out of all the practice resources I used for cars, so I used Jack Weston, I used Kaplan, I used Khan Academy, I used the double AMC, and I used UWorld. And then I used this next step. So that out of six resources, I would say these are the least accurate out of all the cars that I've taken. Um, so use it for timing, you know, use the 90 minutes, uh, try to get it, you know, try to get your timing down, but don't read in the score. Don't read in the explanations for problems at all. Uh, I did not like the cars and a lot of people on Reddit slash MCAT and other pre-med forums have found, uh, that similar to me. So, uh, yeah, don't take the score too, too to heart. 
um, for the cars section of these exams. For the biochem and biology section, uh, bio bio section, I thought this was probably the most um, most similar to the AMC. It is heavier on biochemistry, but I think that's the way the actual exam's moving towards too. So I really liked it and I thought it was super helpful. Um, this is probably one of the sections that is one of the most, if not uh, the most comparable to the actual AMC material and the actual MCAT itself. And finally, the psych -so section, I thought this was great. Uh, once again, it's very similar to the, the AMC material, even though now the AMC and the MCAT in general is moving away from definitions and theories and moving towards more passage interpretation. And it's almost like cars version two. So um, yeah, there's nothing we can do about that or to prepare for that. But I'm saying in, in terms of similarity to AMC materials, uh, this psych -so session is, is, uh, is pretty similar. So yeah, um, I thought it was good. I thought it was really good. So this section and then the bio biochem section, um, they get a grade of an A from me on it. Uh, I really thought they were very helpful. After taking these exams, after taking these exams, I would usually take them on a Saturday. So I would either one, take a day off or two, correct them on Sunday. Um, so either Sundays or Mondays, I would correct them. And uh, usually it would take me a day and a half or two days to correct them because I'd spend roughly 12 hours ish on each of these two exams that I took from uh, next up and yeah so I take my time correct the problems um, and you can kind of see because they give you an explanation as to why you got a problem wrong so you can kind of see okay did I just get you know logic and reasoning wrong in this and I actually knew the content behind it or did you not know the content behind it and then you need to go back to your content and review that and uh, you know, correct your mistakes and, and your, your gaps in content there. But if it's uh, logic and reasoning, then, you know, maybe you can get that right the next time. Um, and yeah, so I did only take two of these exams um, before moving on to UWorld and then onto AMC material eventually. But I did think they were super useful. Um, I took two of them. Like I said, again, uh, next step full length one, I got a 502. Next step full length two, I got a 504. Um, so I did see a little bit of progress there. Uh, and yeah, so if you're breaking 500 in these exams, um, you know, you're, you're getting there with your content review. Um, and then you can just fill in those gaps and every one of these problems you get wrong, read the explanation. Is it logic or reasoning why you got it wrong? Or is it actual content? Um, and then fix your mistakes from there. Uh, go onky that and whatnot. So yeah, um, that's, that's how you get better. Overall, I would recommend these next step full length exams to somebody. I think they're appropriate for the price and I think they are very good if you're early on in your study cycle. Uh, that's two to three months out at least from your actual test date. And yeah, so if you if you wanna, you know, I guess if you've been content reviewing and you wanna see how good your content is or how much content you know uh, when you're that far out, I think it's really good and it, I think it's really good for timing too. So I, I would recommend the Next Step full-length exams. Um, not paid or sponsored by Next Step or anything. I'm just making this video as a review of, I guess, my experience with it. Um, I will leave links to the Next Step full-length exams. I think there's actually seven or eight of them. Uh, you could buy some more, um, but the ones that I bought costed me 200 bucks, and I think you have multiple tries on them. Uh, so that was pretty good. And then I'll leave links to the AMC material below. Uh, I think that's 200 or 250 dollars and that includes three AMC full lengths and a sample length um, Q packs and section banks so it's a lot of info um, but definitely get the AMC material uh, if you had to choose between one of these two definitely get the AMC material over this because that's going to be the most similar and most important um, yeah so I'll leave links to the uh, what's it called the document below the 300 page document for psych -Sosh because I know I'm going to get asked about that. So any, anything I mentioned here in this video with a link, I'll leave that in the description. Um, and yeah, uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, I'll be coming out with more views of MCAT materials that I used and, uh, I guess maybe some more personal, personal videos, uh, pretty soon. So yeah, I've got waste wait listed at, uh, two med schools that I've, uh, interviewed at recently. So you know, fingers crossed on those. Um, and yeah, I'll let, I'll make a video updating where I'm going for the fall. Um, because 
yeah, I'm already in a few med schools, but uh, still haven't decided where I'm going yet. So um, thanks for watching again. Uh, follow me on Instagram below and uh, have a nice day.